And we couldn't have asked for better weather for today's game between the Eastern Washington Eagles and the Washington Huskies. We'll be bringing you all the high-intensity action of week one to help answer the question, who will be crowned national champions this year? And here come the Huskies. The Huskies should have their way with this team. Herbie, why don't you tell us about their star? Washington can do so many things on defense thanks to this young man. He can be the eighth man in the box, or he can play man coverage. And I expect everyone to know his name after this game is over. I think we're ready to get things started. He can provide some excitement. He sure can. And the thing that makes this play successful is the fact that he's on the same page with his quarterback. Sometimes you see wide receivers that don't have their heads the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. And he converts the extra point. A lot of game left. Four minutes remaining in the quarter. And our score, Washington, seven. Eastern Washington, nothing. Hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. High formation here. Look at the throw. Looks. Browning is going to be sacked. Absolutely. It's first down. Eastern Washington comes to the line with three wide. He looks to throw on first down. Great coverage, and it's intercepted. Brought down at the 43-yard line. That was a dangerous pass. Well, he should have known better than to throw that football into coverage like that. You can't expect the receiver to come down with that ball. about this team. It's fourth down and you know what's coming. We'll run it right at you. Try it. Stop it. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers brought to you by Coke. So their last red zone visit resulted in a touchdown. Let's see if the defense can hold them this time. He's got it. Touchdown. He tossed that one beautifully, guys. It worked out exactly as planned and the quarterback threw a very catchable ball. going to lose the game. I still love the way this kid is running the football. It's third and one. Ball on the seven-yard line. Back to pay. Guns it to the end zone. And it's caught for the touchdown. And the big lead just got bigger, folks. I've seen some amazing comebacks in my day, and I'm not too confident that I'm going to see one today. I could be wrong, you guys, but I just don't see it happen. I mean, these guys aren't just born. They're pitching a shutout, too. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime. Washington, 28. Eastern Washington, not... Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Lost this one to the left. Incomplete. Number 87 was the intended target on the play. That'll make it third down. Second and one. Ball on the 13-yard line. Washington comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. He gets another carry. The point down the sideline at the point at the 30 to the 20 to the 10 touchdown oh wow i can't believe it what an amazing run how about the fact that not one player on the entire defense even touched it Kirk, he's got 11 guys on the field and he just flew by all of them
Second down and a couple feet. Ball on the 34. The Eagle line up with a single set backfield. He airs it out. He got it to the 20. And he's all the way down to the 11-yard line. Heck of a play by the quarterback. When you bring a lot of pressure, you're going to leave yourself open out there, relying on your secondary and your linebackers. You're just hoping they can make plays. That time, the defense lost. The offense won. Going with the shotgun here. Look at the throw. Throws to the middle. And it's complete for the touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. Did a cookie jar, but not letting him have a cookie. Ah, ah. I think I get that. Yeah, once game time. It's first down. Washington lines up with three receivers, looks to pass, surveys the field, throws it. Oh, what an interception. And that interception might be what they needed to get back in this ball game. Yeah, nice try, Brad. Keep their hopes up, but I don't think they have a chance of winning this. They're too far down to catch up. The offense really seems to be clicking right now. First and 10. Ball on the 41-yard line. There's the final gun, and this game is history. Kirk, what do you think of this one? Well, this is no big surprise. I think we all anticipated a severe beating this one. Eastern Washington knew they didn't stand much of a chance, but they probably would have liked to keep it a little bit closer than it ended up. There's just not a whole lot you can do when you're facing such a talented team.